Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand. Hey, humble yourself. I be laughing. You know, you be listening to like Sports Center. People that's in the world, you know, they they not humble, but they say like, hey, this guy right here humble. I'm like, if he's fucking humble, how much more are the real men? <laughs> God damn, you know he's putting on a show just to get sponsored. Cause it's all about the money. But you gotta you gotta go down. For you to be humble, you gotta stay at a low state. That's why the Lord gotta take certain things away from you so you can be humble. He's not gonna let you keep everything. Go ahead, bro. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. The mighty hand. <laughs> the mighty hand, because why? He got the power of life. That's right. He's able to take, he able to uh, give you life and take it away. That's right. He able to make you rich or poor. That's, right. That's why he said the mighty hand. Go ahead, bro. And he may exalt you in due time. In due time. So that, that's why it says the time and season for everything. So even though it doesn't seem like the world's beating you up, I'm saying you pushing that punch back, and that punch back hits you back. But in due time, that mighty hand's gonna lift you up. And Lord willing, you get beaten up in some territory. That's our Super Bowl. All that, holding up the trophy, taking pictures, I'm saying, winning the Oscar or the Grammy, getting a big ass check, that's all, that's all vain. Don't get me wrong, you're able to use it throughout your life to pay your bills. But don't put your fully heart into it. So all that shit's gonna burn in the lake of fire. That's a guarantee. All that shit gonna burn. Back to, yeah, back to Romans 14 and 8. If we live, we live for the Lord. Yep. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So if you're in that cost of treasure camp, Time of Jacob Trouble, martial law going out here. You see nothing but killing. You gonna you gonna die for your hot by shimmy outside. That's right. And then you gotta rehearse that in your mind. You really got rehearsal that taking place in your mind. You hear people screaming, ah! You hear that saw going off? You know they they fuck with you psychologically. They'll they'll put you in there for two days, and then you hear he let you hear the death. And you can you can feel it just to fuck you up. So the main reason they do that, so you can keep your eye off your house side. What happens when you keep your eye off your house side? You keep your eye off that prize. You start to sink, so to speak. You start to sink spiritually. And now they know they got you down. You're not focused on the Lord. You're gonna you gonna you gonna get that chip. You're gonna like fuck it. That's why you gotta confess your sin. Keep your eyes on your house shine. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord. Yeah, cause some people, I mean some certain of men, the Lord is balanced. Not everybody's gonna die. Cause why policy must get fulfilled. Fulfilled. Some gonna get beamed up. Some gonna, some gonna be the first to get raised that died. They gonna be the first to get risen. But that's why this scripture is beautiful. And you got some of the lack that's in the spiritual world right now getting ready to get woken up. Shit. Yeah, the first one. Go ahead, uh, you got more juice? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to Matthew. Huh. Let me get that verse 33. Matthew 10 and 33. But who? Whosoever shall deny me before men. Because how you deny the Lord? Let's say, hey, I seen you on the corner preaching the word. Hey, that wasn't me. So you got a twin now? Because by that, if you would have had the heart as a lion, and you would have told me, yeah, that was me. And then y'all would have went more milk into the scripture. You would have, you would have had one of the, it could have been the one third, one of the left. That you could have woken up in that moment. Like, damn. You bet you throughout your speech, the way you carry yourself as a man, but you know, mainly through your house shy spirit, you woken up one of the one third of the elect. But he's not gonna say nothing, you know, he's gonna stay quiet. 
and put on some keywords in his head as soon as he get home, he's going to do his own research. Or he might come to you, hey, yeah, what, I want to learn more. What was that all about? Yeah. We farmers, right? We fishing men. You think it's all about coming coming out here? Nah. You do it be outside the camera, too. If the Lord got that fit on you, you can talk to somebody that's on the bus or at the corner store, or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Random person could just come up to you and be like, hey, you heard, you know about anything about the Israelites? Not knowing you know anything, man. That's your opportunity to, to break it down to him, man. You have two choices. You can break it down and say, nah, I don't know nothing about this, man. Even during the time of Christmas. Lord. During the time of Christmas, what you, what you, what the hell are you doing? You can confess, you can talk about um, the Lord when it's time of Christmas, you don't post. That shit's simple. Even Christian people be cutting Christians with that. Jeremiah 10? Come on, man. But people don't want to hear it. Why that shit, that shit cut the spirit and soul. That's confessing the Lord too. That's confessing your sin. Christians cutting Christians. <laughs> God damn. The world's nothing but goddamn hypocrite on different levels. Another way, another way you can uh, deny the Lord before men is if you know somebody going off with the with the word of the Lord and you know and you know they're going off, but you don't correct them. You don't say, hey, Yahweh Shah did not say that. That's you denying the Lord before men. Uh, that guilt. You're going you gonna to have that guilt during the time of Jacob's trouble. All that shit, the Lord going to put that clip, that memory. I don't care if you got bad memory. He's going to put that clip in your head. That shit's going to run over and over. And that shit can eat you up. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Verse 33, Matthew yeah. 10 and 33. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father. So the Lord, God, he's not gonna basically not going to put you in that book of life. And that book of life is you're getting beamed up in the chariots, what the world call UFO. The chariots are alive. Because when this shit gets dominated by nuclear fire, it's out of death, death at the bottom, and life on top. Literally. Go ahead, bro. Him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. So if your outside don't know you, you basically fuck. So it's a precious thing to, for the Lord to remember you. That you get broken up with somebody less than two weeks. She comes to you, I never knew him. How, how am? Well, you... That it hit a nerve, right? But she ain't gonna say nothing. How much more the Lord? How much more the Lord? This is Luke 13 and 24. Yep, yep. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. Yeah, try. Try, keyword try. And that, that straight gate is hard to stay in that narrow path. It's hard. And that narrow path is the law, statute, commandments. Yeah, you're going to go off, but guess what? You got to realize, like, oh, shit, made a mistake and ate some pork, right? Going back to confessing, you got to confess your sin. You know you went off, confess your sin. Certain, certain dietary laws you don't supposed to, you don't supposed to eat. You know, you know that if you go off, that's the Lord putting the spirit upon you. Now how about the Passover? You don't supposed to eat no um, flour, right? No yeast. Soon as you're about to like, hey, let me let me buy this. Even though you probably purchased it. Oh shit! I'm supposed to for the next seven days. I'm supposed to be eating no yeast. Just put it down. Put it down. But that's the Lord got to be dealing with you. You be like, damn, that's the spirit. Because I could have ate it and went off at that moment. For many, I, 
for many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. <laughs> yeah. Many. So, many is going to fail. Like the Lord said, many is going to perish. Many. It's going to be a lot of people that's going to perish. Billions of people going to die on the planet Earth. And that's going to be, maybe a lot of people going to lose faith. A lot of people are going to lose faith because there's going to be so much death going on. But easy said than done. Go ahead, bro. Verse 25. When once the master of the house is risen up and have shut to the door, and ye begin to stand without and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us, and he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. <laughs> so the Lord is not going to confess you to the Father. This this no, you know you how you know how you got a house. Sometimes it got like two or three doors. You trying to go through the back. There's no back door to the chariots. Yeah, <laughs> yo, you know back door. You got that? You got that spare key for me? Come on, man. You gonna so you gonna go off? You in the chariot? You gonna go off? Like all right, the house ain't gonna know. I'm gonna sneak you in. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. You, you you gotta be a fucking idiot. Come on, man. So confess the Lord now. Take advantage of the name. Even the time of Jacob chose, the Lord wants you to confess his name. That's right. Boy. The Lord wants you to confess his name. That that pleases the Lord. Right now, we doing what pleases the Lord right now. So do anything to please the Lord. Not please men. Men going to confess you to Yahweh? No. But Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is. Yeah, come on. So confess the Lord. Abuse it. Take a take a take advantage of the opportunity. Cause we being in the flesh, we get we get comfortable. That's a natural thing. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Yeah, I got the precept, and you said, man, not going to confess you to yeah. you. How? You got a, a definition of that? This is 1 Timothy. This is 1 Timothy 2 and 5. For there was one God. Yeah, one God. I'm telling you, man, Christian people know this. How come are there are so many names, there are so many religions in every street corner? Why Satan causes division? But only one God, the entertainer said, and I trust him God, but they are talking about Satan. There are only one pure, pure God, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. That's right. The one and only. Go ahead. And one mediator between God and men. So that, that's, a, that's a precept for the, the Catholic Church. That's why they like to use Mary. Or the Pope. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, the Pope too. That's another one. We gotta talk. We gotta talk to Mary. Oh, it ain't dealing with no female that's on period. We gotta talk to Mary. To talk to the the, the the son and the father. What what scripture that is? Bring out the precept, bring out the verse to prove your case. Cause what you are you doing? You're adding to the Bible. You are adding to the Bible. And the Lord said not to add or take away. Sure. So what are you doing? But the world don't fear the Lord. The world, the world do not fear the Lord. They, they fear Satan. When Esau said, I want this done at a certain date, they're going to do it. Guaranteeing they're going to do it. But when the Lord said do this, y'all slack it. Action louder than words. Hey, y'all ready to prove your case? Um, the word profess is strong G3670, and it says to profess, to declare openly. Openly. So you gotta be bold with your words. Coming out with the, the, the verses, not your own vain opinion. 
So when you bring out precept to prove the case, you got to confess to Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is not down on earth right now. So you got to do that shit boldly in the opening. Go ahead, Speak dog. out freely. Yeah, freely. To, to profess oneself the worshiper of one, to praise, celebrate. Celebrate. Yeah, all right. That's it. All right. And one mediator between God and men. One. Not Mary. Come on, man. This shit's simple. Go ahead. The man, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. That's it. I want them, This that should be the opening precept in the Catholic Church. That should bring that out. Go ahead, bro. This is Isaiah. This is Job 40 and 14. Then will I also confess unto thee that thy own right hand can save thee. And Yahweh Shai is going to be the one that's going to save you. He, he's the right hand. Because Yahweh Shai is sitting on the left. And who's sitting on? I said the left? Yeah. I mean the right. Yahweh Shai is sitting on the right. I love you. Yahweh Shai is sitting on the right of the Father. And on the left, you got Satan sitting on the left. So that's the, that's the balance. And it's only the right that's going to be able to save you. If you truly believe in the name, you got to believe in the name. Yeah. It's Isaiah 42 and 17. 